In this video, I wanna talk about 10 spring and summer must-haves for this spring and summer 2024. Just to clarify, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on my spring essentials, the backbone pieces of my wardrobe, the pieces that just really helped me have a cohesive closet. And I hope that was helpful in filling in some gaps in your own closet. Now, this video is more about, for me personally, it's just some must-haves for me. They're not absolutely essential, but they're either trends that I'm just really particularly into, or they are pieces that I personally just wear a lot during the spring and summer. I don't consider them an essential, but they're just pieces that I just really, really love. And so I wanna share those with you. This is gonna be a fun video for some fashion inspiration for spring, I highly doubt. I would be shocked if anybody's own must-haves are the same as mine. And the last must-have for me is a bag. If you're a bag person, I would love to know what you think about this bag. I love it. It's very interesting. And I'm going to New York City in a couple of weeks, bringing my daughter for the first time, and I'm gonna to go to the store, and I'm gonna look at these bags in person, because I've been liking them since last year. Anyway, we'll save that for last, number 10. <laughs> okay, first spring must have, in no particular order, is a white maxi skirt in a cotton or linen fabric. The one that I have is 100% cotton. I got this last year. I almost put this in my spring essentials video, but I just felt like it was one of those pieces you don't have to have, but man, I wore this skirt so much last year. It was just the perfect thing to throw on, especially as it started getting a lot hotter. I could put it on with like a bodysuit or a tank top, and I just felt like I still looked okay, but I was ready for the hot and humid weather. I don't think the skirt that I have is still available, but I'm always able to find similar skirts like this. I just really recommend it being in like a cotton or a linen or some kind of blend so that you are not burning up in a maxi skirt. Because if it's not, it's just gonna trap all that air into your legs. My next must have for spring 2024, and this is one, I bought one at the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year, and <laughs> Rover, we talked about this. I apologize for the interruption. We are sitting up here now. Everything is safe, Grover. Um, good boy. Anyway, so what that item is, is a suiting vest. And I was shocked at how much I wore this piece last summer and into the fall, basically until it got a little bit too cold to be able to wear this kind of thing. It was at the point where I thought, okay, can I wear this two days in a row? Like, am I gonna see the same people today as I saw yesterday? Will they know? Because it was so perfect. And the reason why I love a suiting vest is because it is a structured, kind of tailored looking piece that immediately looks more leveled up, even put with the most basic pair of jeans. Here in Florida, it gets to a point where it's just really hard to wear sleeves because it gets so hot and humid. And so this was just so perfect. Now, since then, and since I realized that I'm a vest girl, it was like vest and tank tops um, when it got really hot. I have, I have a few vests now. I am, I'm, I fully jumped on this trend train because I love it. It works for me so well for where I live. And if you're interested in vests, let me just tell you, okay, the rag and bone vest that I have that I got last year, it's the Priya vest, is a great vest. I actually got it in a denim fabric as well, and I just absolutely love it. This is not necessary. This is not gonna resonate with everybody. I wore it last night. My husband and I had kind of a casual date night, so I wore it. I'll show you the outfit that I wore. It was denim on denim. I did find one, as I showed you in an H&M video from H&M, that is a just a great, easy, boxy vest. Um, you can easily wear a bra with it. I will definitely link that one below if it's still available. And then Lily Silk has a vest. It's a little bit more fitted. Lily Silk does a really great job at their fit. And the vest that they have for spring is amazing. It only comes in one color, but I love this color. It is so my color. This is like one of my favorite colors to wear. And then last, if you're looking for a linen vest, Gap has some really cute linen vests. I saw that they have the linen vest and the matching pants or shorts to go with it. I will link those below as well because I feel like that could be a really great find for somebody. I will probably also get a linen vest. I wanna try the Gap linen vest um, because this is just, I mean, it's my thing. I just, I'm a vest, I am a vest person now. Another must have for me that I realized that it, I must have it once I discovered it, but it's a linen skirt. And when I say linen skirt, you know, linen is not as stretchy of a fabric as cotton or, you know, some of these other fabrics. Um, so you really have to find one that fits you really well. And I tried a lot last summer and I just never could find one that really fit me the way I wanted it to fit. 
but I found one from Revolve that I just love. I love how it's kind of more of a tailored structure type skirt. When you go this route, it is a little bit more expensive because they have to put all the tailoring and structure and all that good stuff in there. But I love this skirt. I think it's so great for summer, especially like if I want to look a little bit nicer and um, but it's really hot outside or really hot and humid. This is just going to be a really great piece for me this year, spring and summer. Now for me, I mean, when it gets really, really hot, um, I do wear a lot of shorts, but there's a lot of occasions where shorts are just not quite appropriate. So I need some other kind of bottoms that I'm not going to be hot in, but still look good or dressy enough. This is a must have, but for me, it's only a must have until about mid May and then it just gets way too hot, but it's a ladylike jacket and not so much this one. I did mention blazers in my spring essentials video and blazers I feel like are in the essential category, but a must have in the, um, it's not absolutely necessary, but it's a really great piece to have is a ladylike jacket. And when I say that, I think you can kind of think about what I mean. I'm obviously going to show you pictures <laughs> on the screen or video of what I'm talking about, but I love these because they just very easily dress up the most basic outfit. So for here right now, we have very cold mornings. It gets warm in the afternoon and then Sometimes it gets really cold back in the evening. And then also we have the situation where it could be really hot outside, but you go inside and it is freezing. So I love a good ladylike jacket. It's just something different than a blazer. It gives a whole different look. Um, these are very on trend right now, as you know, they've been on trend for the past few years. And I feel like it's just a great piece to have. Like even when it's not trending, it still looks great. I think the one I'm showing you is from Goelia. I will link it below if it's still available, but um, Goelia has some great ones, Urban Revivo that are not that expensive. I'll link a couple of those below if that is something that you also really like. A must have bag for me in the spring and the summer is a straw or a raffia tote. So last summer I had one that was a little bit more of a casual straw bag and I used it so much. I used it going to the beach, but then I used it if, you know, we were going to dinner after the beach and I just felt like it looked so great with my linen and, you know, all the beachy, hot weather kind of fabrics. But I've been wanting a tote, like one that looks a little bit dressier and just a little bit nicer to wear um, you know, if I, if I want to look a little bit more dressed up or just something that looks a little more elevated. And so I have looked all over the place and I do like some of those designer ones, but I just, I don't know if I want to go that route really with the designer bags in my boutique. So a few of you know, I have a boutique. It's all swimwear and like a little bit of beachwear, but I found this company that makes these really cute totes. They're very reasonably priced for straw and raffia totes. And this one totally fits the bill. I love it. I think it's so cute. And then also from that same company, I found these more of a canvas bag, which I also think looks very, you know, appropriate for spring and summer. Just has that beautiful, like, you know, by the beach kind of look. So I will link both of these below. Do I know I have like a ton of stock in either one of them. Um, I do have a, it's just one location, a small store. I'm barely online. I only have a few things online. We really just have a lot of like tourist business, but, um, but I will make sure that those two are online. If you are looking for one, that's not a designer type raffia bag. I think these are just so cute. A must have for me in the spring and summer, it's more of a category, but it's color. So fun fact, um, previous Anna, before I really got my style in check and whenever I lived the days of having tons of clothes and nothing to wear and not liking my style and not liking how things looked, um, I always gravitated towards color. That was just my thing. I just love color. I would just buy a piece based on its color and um, I just thought it was so beautiful and I was always drawn to people's outfits. It had a lot of color, but what ended up happening is I had a very colorful closet, but nothing went together, nothing made sense. And a lot of them too, the other problem is it was usually in some kind of going out <laughs> style. And it was like, I went like going out to the nightclub seven days a week, all day long, you know? It made no sense. I really had to come a long way to get here where I am today. Anyway, so I've never stopped loving color, but it was when I really got into neutrals and I realized the power of neutrals in just making my life so much easier <laughs> and finding the neutrals that I really loved was when a lot of, you know, about the time that my whole closet really became one that was super functional. However, it doesn't mean that I don't like color. I still love color, but I'm much more selective with it and it needs to make sense for me. It needs to be a color I'm not gonna get tired of. Anyway, all that to say, I do love color in the spring and summer. And this year, I believe my spirit color <laughs> this year is this one. It's this reddish, orangish, a reddish, or orangish red, reddish orange. I love this color and I just see it everywhere. Maybe it's because I'm just 
have what's the term when you um you have something kind of on your mind and so you just start seeing it everywhere uh anyway that's how i feel about this color i am seeing it everywhere <laughs> and i now have it in a like kind of a really casual t-shirt dress i got from h&m this is jackets from last year actually and I don't know if it's still available, but I will link it below if it is. I just found this long sleeve knit from Madewell, which I'm showing you. I love it so much. It's in that color. I just love it. It's a cropped knit and it's kind of a loose knit. So I know I can still wear it even when it gets a little warmer. I've also been loving pinks this year. I have a pink top from H&M I really love. Um, not all pinks and I definitely am not buying like a whole bunch of pink stuff, but I do like one or two pieces if it's in the right style and it, you know, it works and everything and just color in general. General in dresses. I do love a good colorful dress, even a printed dress in the spring and summer. I do tend to wear those a lot in more than any other time of year. One that I just recently got, Mango seems to come through for me for, for some beautiful spring dresses. And I found one that's like burgundy and a taupe. It's got cutouts. It's so cute. I think this one is 100% linen if I'm not mistaken, and it was almost sold out whenever I got it. Hopefully they restocked it, but I will link it below. But I just love this. I just love this whole look. I think it's so beautiful. I think of like Farm Rio. They always have like these beautiful, colorful dresses for spring and summer. Another color I'm very into this year and last year is orange. I can't think of any time in my entire life where I've been really into orange. I've just been really loving it. And I found this dress, um, I think it's by the brand House of Harlow. And I think it's so cute. It does not hug my mix midsection. It's super comfortable, but it's very like warm weather, need a backless dress kind of dress. <laughs> I think this is so beautiful and just so easy. Perfect for Florida. So color is definitely a must have for spring for me. Again, not my whole closet, but a few pieces here and there that I just like to add to, you know, some neutrals or just to add on certain days that I feel like wearing color is definitely a must have. Another must have, which has not been on my list for a, a few years because I just haven't really been into them, but it's loafers. And I have a pair of black loafers and I used to wear them all the time. They were an essential. They would have been in the essential category. But in the last maybe two years, I just have not really liked them. I've just not wanted to wear them. I still have them because I know I'll change at some point and be like, oh, I love loafers. But I just haven't really been into my black loafers. And so I thought, okay, well, I'm just not a loafer person right now. Then I found some like ivory slingback loafers, which are so cute, so comfortable, and I love these. I think the slingback part, it makes them feel a little less structured and a little bit more, not edgy, but just a little bit more fun, I guess, for me. And I like that. And also I live in Florida. You know, these are perfect for like a Florida look. And so these have become one of my must haves. Are they essential? Would I just die without them? No, but I do really love these. They give a totally different look than any of my other shoes. And I just think these are really cute for spring and for part of summer until I just wear sandals 100% of the time. Now in my spring essentials video, I mentioned one pair of sandals that were just a nude pair. They're my ride or die sandals. They're just a minimal sandal. I wear those most of the time. But um, for my must have category, I'm gonna put in my chunky sandals. I have some by Sorel that I got last year and these are so comfortable. I get compliments on them every time I wear them, which I just find so funny because they're, the, like, they're almost like so ugly, they're cute, but I get compliments on them everywhere, but they are so useful and functional. I went to Mexico City, did tons of walking, and I wore these shoes for all that walking. They were just so comfortable. Last year, they came in these kind of weird colors, and so that's kind of what I have, but I did see that this year, they came out with some more traditional nude colors. I'm gonna order another pair because I did actually really love them last summer and it was the only thing I didn't totally love about them. I wanted them to be more of a neutral. So they did come out with neutrals this year. I will link those below if you're interested because they are so comfortable if you like this kind of shoe, but that is definitely a big shoe in my rotation for this spring and summer. This might seem like kind of a random one for a must have, but it's sweatshirts. And I think I've actually said in a couple videos how I've just really been loving like hoodies and sweatshirts. And the ones that I really have been loving recently are either the cropped ones that kind of hit where my workout pants stop 
or start. And then I have one that's super long, which I got from Amazon, which I've also been wearing because sometimes I like to just wear a really long oversized one with my leggings if I'm going to work out or something like that. So it's been, I don't like the ones that are in between. I want them to either be really long or really cropped. I love the half zip and I also love the hoodie. I will link the ones that I just really love below. I think I have two from Amazon and one is from Aloe. I'll tell you the Aloe one is super soft, super cozy. I just love it. And it also has matching pants to go with it. And then the ones from Amazon look a lot like those Lululemon and Aloe ones that are in that same style, but they're from Amazon. So they're really great find. I don't wear these every day, but if I'm going to the gym and it's cold outside, or if I need to throw it on with a pair of jeans and I'm doing something with my kids or whatever, I do feel like the cropped ones look a little bit nicer than just like a old sweatshirt to throw on. Um, that could be all in my head. I mean, this is obviously a very casual piece, but sometimes I just need a sweatshirt. <laughs> um, so these have been really been worn a lot for me the last few months. So the last must have is the bag. Oh my goodness. So I saw this bag last year and I'm like, why do I love this bag so much? This is strange. It just doesn't seem like me and I'm really love it. I just thought there was something wrong with me. Some, uh, let me just tell you, sometimes I'll see things and they are the most outrageous things. And I'm like, I love that. I must have it. I just love it. And a lot of times I'll get it and I do love it and I'll still love it to this day and forever and ever. Amen. And then every occasionally I'll get one and later I'll be like, what was I thinking? So I wanted to make sure this wasn't one of those purchases. <laughs> so I didn't ever, I never purchased it this year. They have a lot more styles and you're like, Anna, please show me the bag. Okay. It's this styled, um, what is it called? It's got a name to it, but it's a styled beaded bag. Stod, not stout, Stod beaded bag. And they have come out with a lot more prints this year. And I just think these are so cute. They are just, it's just such an interesting bag. It's so unique and I love them so much. And I know in New York, there is a Stod store, if I remember correctly. Um, but I'm sure they'll have these in department stores as well. I really just want to go look at all of them and decide if I want one and which one I want. Cause I really, really love this bag. If you were a bag person, <laughs> You have to let me know what you think. It's not going to sway my decision. I'm going to love it no matter what, because that's just, I just love it. I think they're so cute. Um, but it would be fun to, to hear you guys' opinions on this. If you're like, girl, what is that? Or if you're like, I love it. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> it's a fun, it's a fun bag. It really is. And it's kind of one of those things where I feel like I do wear a lot of basic pieces and a lot of outfits from my spring essentials video. I just make a lot of outfits with those clothes. So adding this bag to those outfits, I think would be just, it would just be so great because it would be kind of the more interesting hero piece of a more basic outfit. You see where my head's at? You see, I like, I kind of like this. You let me know what you think. I love hearing you guys' opinions. It's so much fun. It just reminds me that we're all so different and we all have our own you know, styles and things we like and things we don't like. And it's just kind of fun to hear from other women. Anyway, those are 10 must haves for, I just, yeah, I really, I'm not totally resonating with must haves because it sounds like you must have them. It sounds a lot like essentials, um, but I couldn't think of another term to describe these pieces that I very much like, I'm really, really loving, but they're not like absolutely necessary. Like no one is going to have a wardrobe crisis without, um, a vest. I mean, I would, apparently I would, <laughs> but most people will not. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, you can check out my spring essentials video right here. I'll post it there and in the description box below. Um, and also the H and M video I did had a lot of really cool things in there as well for spring. And I will see you next time. You're such a good little boy. You're so dirty though.